Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's King Vita here, and I'm back with another review. And this time, I'm reviewing the Halo Elite Zealot. So, take a look at the packaging here, first and foremost. So, this is the Halo packaging right here. It does say Halo and Elite Zealot down here. It comes with an alpha crawler, or at least part of it. It's a Halo Builder figure. On the side, you have your, I guess, a picture of the figure. On the other side, nothing. On the top, it says Halo. On the back, you have your obligatory product shot. There he is with the armor. There he is without the armor. And if you collect all these figures right here from the Halo line, you get to build this thing. So yeah, this is a alpha crawler, as what they're calling it. So, that's basically it. 343 Studios, nothing else. So here is the Elite Zealot, as they're calling it. And he looks pretty nice. Let's get a closer look here. There you go. Really nice. Got a spikes on his feet too, as well as on his uh, one of his toes, one of, one of his each on each foot. So that's pretty interesting. It's a pretty bulky figure. Now, all of this is armor, and all of this can come off, actually. So, I'll get to showing that later on. Head is on a ball joint. This is a little loose on his head. You can't just pop this off. And this is connected via a peg right there and a port on the back of his neck all this is connected via pegs and ports so head cannot move only the neck there there this is one piece so neck is on a ball joint arms could do a full 360 they can go outward that far Elbows can bend that far. Wrists are on a bi are, are on a bicep. Psh, yeah, wrists are on a bicep. Rips are wrists are on a ball joint. There you go. And they can move down and up. He does have a waist movement there. So it is on a ball joint. It can't. He can do an ab crunch, and he can move back that far, and he could do anything a ball joint can do. Hips are on a ball joint, but they don't go forward and back. That's as far as they'll go before they do that. Back, basically straight. Thighs can move sideways. N knees, that much. Not, not too much. And that's it. Oh, and he's got a bit of a tiny bit of toe movement. Uh, feet movement. So that's about it. 
Now all of this armor, as I mentioned, can come off. It's it's all connected uh, via pegs. And yeah, plug that back. There you go. So that's pretty interesting. Very cool. Now he does come with a weapon. And I will show that off right now. There you go. His weapon is this right here. This is his sword. Uh, energy, I think they call it an energy sword, energy saber, something, I don't know. But yeah, you can see it's in this transparent plastic. Comes off as blue. I don't know how well the camera's picking that up, but it does look blue. And here's the handle as well. So that's pretty cool. He can hold this through his three fingers. He has a thumb. Let's see if I could. Okay. He has a thumb and two fingers, so essentially three. And he holds them with these two fingers here. His fingers are made of soft plastic, so. There you go. Just like that. So he can hold his weapon. Except it... Gravity pushes it down. That's essentially it. But yeah, that's the weapon he comes with. Now, unfortunately, there's no way to store this. So what you see is what you get. There is a peg, a peg, uh, a port, I should say, a port There you go. There is a port here, right there. See? There's a hole through the handle. But there's no way, but there actually is no way to, uh, anywhere for this to peg on to, so. I'm not sure why they decided to do that. But, okay. Sure. Why not? It's really strange. There you go. But either way, it still looks cool. <laughs> this is really, really cool. Uh, one thing that I do notice is his arms. I just realized they have, I don't know how well the camera will pick it up, but on the black parts, they have some sort of design. I don't know if that can be seen through the camera, but they're like scales. So that's pretty cool. That is really cool. And he also has designs on his skin too, which is also interesting. Right there on his hands too, as well as his head. His head has some, um, let's take a look at the eyes while we're at it. Those are nice, clear, uh, white eyes. No pupils. That's cool. Makes him look like a zombie. Now, you can take his all his armor off. So, we'll see how that, uh, how that works. Let me uh, 
remove his weapon, pop this off, pop that off. These are just in pegs. So. His tail. go as well as his yeah I'm guessing they did this they did this because I guess they wanted to make a line where um, each of these figures that you would buy you could have interchangeable armor and I guess you could have like a blue armor and put him, put, put it on him or a purple armor or this armor and kind of interchange it between and, you know, different kind of uh, elites from the same line. So it's like a mix and match. You can create your own uh, armors and weapons too. You know, you could give them guns instead of this here. So that's very cool. I like that you can that that they thought of that that you can make your own uh elite the way you wanted them to. And what's cool is that the scales on his back Let me zoom in here on his butt there's scales on his back too. So they really thought this through. They really um, designed this guy uh, very well made, actually. I like it. He put his armor back, back on. And his armor just uh, pegs in to itself. Really. It's not that hard because it's this soft plastic that you can bend and, you know, you can do what you want with it, so. Very interesting. Okay, take this. Plug this onto his back, like so. Okay. His feet. There you go. And take his other foot. Take this here. Put it on his bicep. Whoops. There's one. Two. And there you go. Two. Here's three. Okay. Here's four. At least I think this is four. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Whoop. Nope. Whatever. We'll leave that for later. Uh, 
here's another part. Okay. There's that. Over here, you have this, which would go here. Again, this part as well. And here, okay. This part can go over here. This is pretty hard to maneuver. Come on. Come on, don't fight me. There you go. Something like that. this there and his helmet well this would go here yes that's right This would go here, and this on the other side. There. Okay. And these two pieces. I don't even know where these two pieces would go. Well, it doesn't matter. We have him armored up for the most part. So, we're good. We're all good. And finally, take his armor, his head plate, and put it back. There you go. Really cool idea that they thought of that. Let me move this to the side. We don't need those. Really cool idea that they thought of that. Like, you can mix and match your own armor. You can uh, buy more of these guys and give this guy someone else's armor. And that's how it goes. Really, really like this. Really nice idea that they thought of that. Finally, let's take this guy's sword and place it on his hand. Oop. There you go. Perfect. Now, for size comparison, move this to the side here. I'll move. There you go. Let's bring in War Greymon. So you can see how tall he is there. Okay. Here he is next to Optimus. Sorry about that. Okay. And here he is next to Uh, 
refractor. He's slightly taller than refractor. Except he's hunched down. He's hunched over, so there's that. Yoink. Not today. Go away. Wait. Back. No. Back. Back, you. So, yeah. Really nice uh, figure. Uh, do I recommend this? Definitely. I think if you're a big Halo fan, if you're a big Halo collector, I think you should definitely pick this figure up. This guy's really good. Um, most of the parts are kind of flimsy and annoying because they come off pretty simple, even though they have like a, they clearly have a peg and port, but they don't really stick onto the pegs or port very well. They just, they're just there. Um, if you like Halo figures, definitely recommend these because, I mean, you could play with them. They're toys to be played with. They're not, I collect them, but they're made to be played with. Because, as I've mentioned in the review, you can take them off, uh, take off the armor, get new armor, and just mix and match, and have a lot of fun with it, too. Uh, there's really nothing in this figure that would essentially make you want to, you know, uh, kind of regret it, because it's, it won't break easily, if that makes any sense. The plastic is, unless you're, like, unless you're trying to break it on purpose, this plastic will not break. It's flimsy, but it's sturdy. Really, really uh, good uh, um, purchase, especially if you're a Halo fan and w are looking to collect these figures. So, very, very nice. So... That is the pretty much covers just about everything here. And if you collect all of these figures, as I mentioned, you can build an alpha crawler. If anybody plays Halo, you would know what that is because each of these figures comes with a piece of the alpha crawler. So really nice idea. So there is the... Halo Elite Zealot. And this King Vita saying, Laters.